Hello there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade for Learning Activities. Kayo ay patuloy sa inyong pag-aaral sa inyong mga tahanan. Kaya naman ako ay narito upang kayo ay gabayan sa inyong pagkatuto, umulan man o umaraw. My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade for Science Activities. In our last science episode, you have learned the changes in the properties of materials when they are exposed to different temperatures. The state of matter in our environment depends largely on temperature. At a certain temperature, a material changes its state. When the materials are heated, the solid materials absorb heat. The heat absorbed by this material causes the material to change its form from solid to liquid. The other changes in the material include its size, shape, and texture. On the other hand, when the materials are cooled, it releases heat. The heat released or removed by these materials causes the material to change its form from liquid to solid. The changes in the material include its size, shape, and texture. It is important for us to note that when these materials undergo melting and freezing, there is no new material form because only the physical properties of the material changes. For a quick review, can you identify what process caused these materials to change its state? Comment down your answers below this video. Now that you already know that materials undergo changes when they are exposed to different temperatures, we can now move forward to our next science lesson which is entitled Changes in the Properties of Materials When They Are Mixed with Other Materials. Ang lesson na ito ay hinati natin sa tatlong bahagi. The first part is entitled What Happens to Solid Materials When Mixed with Other Solid Materials. Ang focus ng first lesson natin ay tungkol sa solid materials. The second part of this lesson is entitled, What Happens to Liquid Materials When They Are Mixed With Other Liquid Materials? Ang second part naman ay nagpo-focus sa liquid materials. Lastly, ang third part ng ating lesson ay entitled, What Happens to Solid Materials When They Are Mixed With Liquid Materials? Ang focus naman ng lesson na yun ay solid materials and liquid materials. After watching our first episode provided on the link below this video, let us now move forward to the second part of this lesson which is entitled Changes in the Properties of Materials When They Are Mixed with Other Materials, Liquid to Liquid Combo. Science Learning Episode Changes in the Properties of Materials When Mixed with Other Materials Before heading to our today's experiment, let us first take note of the following guide questions that you need to answer after investigating what happens to the liquid materials when they are mixed with other liquid materials. Number 1. What liquid materials mix completely? Number 2. What liquid materials did not mix completely? Number 3. What changes did you observe when two liquid materials mix? And number four, what happens to the liquid materials when they are mixed with other liquid materials? Now, let us proceed to our experiment time. Here are the materials that we are going to use in our experiment. We have vinegar, fish sauce, cooking oil, soy sauce, water, alcohol, tablespoon, and clear glass. The first pair of our experiment is soy sauce and vinegar. Let us put 5 tablespoons of soy sauce and vinegar in a clear glass and observe what happens. The next pair of our experiment is composed of cooking oil and water. 
Let us put 5 tablespoons of cooking oil and water in a clear glass. Observe what happens when these two liquid materials are mixed together. Our third pair is alcohol and water. Again, put 5 tablespoons of alcohol and water in a clear glass and observe what happens. Next, we have fish sauce and vinegar. Let us put 5 tablespoons of fish sauce and vinegar in a clear glass. Let us observe what happens after mixing them together. Lastly, we have soy sauce and cooking oil. Again, put 5 tablespoons of soy sauce and cooking oil in a clear glass. Observe what happens. Let us now answer the guide questions. Number 1. What liquid materials mix completely? The correct answer include soy sauce and vinegar, alcohol and water, and fish sauce and vinegar. Number 2. What liquid materials did not mix completely? The answer include soy sauce and cooking oil, and water and cooking oil. Number 3. What changes did you observe when two liquid materials are mixed? The correct answer is, there are liquid materials that mix completely and change its color, while there are some liquid materials that form layers. Lastly, what happens to the liquid materials when they are mixed with other liquid materials? The correct answer is, there are some liquid materials that completely mix together well, there are some liquid materials that did not mix with one another, but they formed layers. So here are the key points of our lesson for today. In our experiment, we have learned that liquid materials can be mixed with other liquid materials, thus forming mixture. Mixture is a combination of two or more materials, or in Tagalog, ito yung kombinasyon ng dalawa o higit pang bagay. Number 2. Some liquid materials completely mix with other liquid materials, forming homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is the resulting mixture which looks the same throughout, 
or in Tagalog, ang homogeneous mixture ay ang kombinasyon ng dalawa o higit pang bagay kung saan ang kanilang anyo ay naging iisa na lamang. In our experiment, meron tayong tatlong homogeneous mixture. Ito ay ang alcohol and water, vinegar and soy sauce, vinegar and fish sauce. Lastly, some liquid materials cannot be completely mixed with other liquid materials forming heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture is a combination of two or more materials wherein we can still identify or distinguish the materials that we have mixed. Or in Tagalog, ang heterogeneous mixture ay ang kombinasyon ng dalawa o higit pang bagay kung saan nakikilala o nababatid pa rin natin ang anyo ng dalawang material na pinagsama natin. Sa experiment na ito, meron tayong dalawang heterogeneous mixture. Ito ay ang water and cooking oil and soy sauce and cooking oil. After doing this experiment, it is important for you to practice cautious management and use of materials to avoid wastage. Maging maingat tayo sa mga materials na pinagahalo natin at ito ay hindi dapat ginagawa ng batang katulad mo ng walang gabay ng nakakatatanda. Do you want to learn more of the different changes that materials undergo when they are mixed with other materials? Click the link below this video for you to be directed to the third part of our lesson which is entitled, What happens to the solid materials when they are mixed with liquid materials? That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe in our channel for you to stay notified in our upcoming videos. Kita kids again next week. Bye-bye!